Good day, friend of God. Welcome to Morning Prayer for Monday, June 24th. Today I will be joining you as your host, Aidan Rampersad. To know a little bit about me, I've been attending St. Philip's on the Hill since I've been a young child. I've participated in the senior and junior youth groups as well as the drama group, and have also been a volunteer for summer camps before. I look forward to this opportunity to share this message with you for the next two weeks and summer. Today we'll be using the pattern of prayer authorized by the Anglican Church of Canada called Pray Without Ceasing. Now, let's take a moment of silence, taking a deep breath and opening our hearts to the love of God. The world and everything in it belongs to the Holy One. So too for the fertile worlds and all who live there. Lord, open our lips together, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us together. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to God, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Psalm 98, a song of joy and victory, because God is victorious over evil. All those who follow him will be victorious with him when he judges the earth. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have worked salvation for him. The Lord has made his salvation known and revealed his righteousness to the nations. He has remembered his love and his faithfulness to the house of Israel, and all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of God. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth burst into jubilant song with music. Make music to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the sound of singing, with trumpets and the blast of the ram's horn. Shout for joy before the Lord, the King. Let the sea resound and everything in it the world, and all who live in it. Let the rivers clap their hands. Let the mountains sing together for joy. Let them sing before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world in righteousness and the peoples with equity. Glory to God, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Romans, chapter 3, verses 9 to 20. What shall we conclude then? Are we any better? Not at all. We have already made the charge that Jew and Gentiles alike are all under sin. As it is written, there is no one righteous, not even one. There is no one who understands No one who seeks God. All have turned away. They have together become worthless. There is no one who does good, not even one. Their throats are open graves. Their tongue practice deceit. Poison of vipers is on their lips. Their mouths are full of cursing and bitterness. Their feet are swift to shed blood. Ruin and misery mark their ways, and the way of peace They do not know. There is no fear of God before their eyes. Now we know that whatever the law says, it says to those who are under the law, so that every mouth may be silenced, and the whole world held accountable to God. Therefore no one will be declared righteous in his sight. By observing the law, rather through the law, we become conscious of sin. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In this reading, we hear a lot about how no one is righteous. But what does that mean? Paul is referring to Psalm 14, verses 1 to 3. There is no one righteous means no one is innocent. Every person is valuable in God's eyes because God created us in his image, and he loves us. But no one is righteous. That is, no one can earn right standing with God. Though valuable, we have fallen into sin, but God, through Jesus, 
his son, has redeemed us and offers to forgive us if we return to him in faith. Now we will proceed to the responsory. Together we will be saying, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways, acknowledge the Lord, who will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and not be wise in your own sight. Happy are those who find wisdom and those who get understanding. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. Now we will proceed to the affirmation of faith, the Apostles' Creed. Together, I believe in God the Father, Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Prayers of the Community Together we will say, God our strength, hear our prayer. O God of salvation, guard and direct your church in the way of unity, service, and praise. God our strength, hear our prayer. Give to all nations an awareness of the unity of the human family. God our strength, hear our prayer. Cleanse our hearts of prejudice and selfishness, and inspire us to hunger and thirst for what is right. God our strength, hear our prayer. Teach us to use your creation for your greater praise, so that all may share the good things you provide. God our strength, hear our prayer. Strengthen all who give their energy or skill for the healing of those who are sick in body or in mind. God our strength, hear our prayer. Set free all who are bound by fear and despair. God our strength, hear our prayer. Grant a peaceful end and eternal rest to all who are dying and your comfort to those who mourn. God our strength, Hear our prayer. Let us pray. Eternal God, you create us by your power and redeem us by your love. Guide us and strengthen us by your spirit so that we may give ourselves today in love and service to one another and to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord's Prayer. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Together, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. This concludes our morning prayer. Thank you for joining, friend of God. Let us bless the Lord. Together, thanks be to God. May the Spirit kindle in us the fire of God's love. Amen.